Moses is telling these people that this is what, what, they, uh, what they need to do. And so, very, very simply, what did he say? You have to obey. You have to obey the commandments regulations of the Lord. Why did they have to obey? Why well, was it so important to obey? Because they had no choice to follow God. They were still a small people. They didn't have an army. They, didn't, they weren't a great <coughs> a great nation. And so it says to obey. And they really have to obey. God is trying to drive a relationship with His people. And then they say, fear is <laughs> sometimes they talk to people. They don't talk about God. They say, you know, God, you have to be a great God, this kind of thing. Fear is God. It's a very good thing. It's a very good thing for us. And if you think about God, He's on mission. He's on discipline. He's on his God knows everything. He has power over everything. He can save you. So as a Christian, and the, and the people of God have that as a Christian family, to, to bring them to their very door of obedience. It gives you strength. Because you know, God wants you to make some good decisions. He wants you to say something to him. Now you don't want to be saved to him. You won't remain humble. You won't remain great in Christ's sight. So fearing the Lord, understanding who God is, is a very good thing. So Moses told these people, you know, to obey the Lord. What he's saying is, when you get there, and then it comes down and he says, listen, O Israel, the Lord is your God. And when I was reading that, it's just struck me. Just imagine this. The Lord is our God. So simple. We say it, we think of it a million times, but the very God who created the entire universe is God the Father. There's billions and billions of people in this world that have no God, that do not have our God. They believe in whatever they believe. I don't know what they believe, but they do not know our God. They say, the Lord alone, and you must love the Lord, your God, with all your heart, heart, all your soul, and all your strength, and you must commit yourself wholeheartedly to the commitments that I am giving you today. Obey God. Fear God. And commit yourself to God. Wholeheartedly. Love Him. God It is a 
what would happen with large, prosperous cities that did not build? Large cities you never build. The houses will be richly stocked with goods. You will be one to do. You will draw from systems you did not dig, and you will eat from digits and all of you did not plant. When well, you have eaten your field, everything they need and much, much more. That's the relationship that God had with the people of Israel. Okay? You dedicate your heart to the heart of this. But this is my this is my leader. This is my life. These people can do everything. Now, if the people of Israel are everything like this, well, when things don't go as they do in my life, I think that I have to rest in this. You know, I want to go back about every little thing and make it work and everything else. I tell the things that I have to do in my life. So that's what these people are going to do. They left with Abraham. They stuck with him. The Lord's going to give them everything he says. So that's the chapter that they make. Thank you, John, back to verse 14. Um, it says, You must not worship any gods of paper nations. Now, okay, if you want to obey the fear of me, you're not going to be able to worship any gods uh, of any other nation. And so, you must diligently obey the commands of the Lord your God, all the laws and decrees he has given you. Do what is right and good in the Lord's sight. All will be well with you. And this is the children of the Lord. I think I'm going to think what's going on in the name of the Lord is God is trying to show that he really wants to work with the children of the Lord. That they would understand that what he wants for them is all for their sake. But to get there, they have to obey his promises and build up a right relationship with him. And so oftentimes, Dropped down into Deuteronomy 7. It says, When the Lord your God brings you into the land that you are about to enter and occupy, he will clear away many nations ahead of you the Hittites, the Gergeshites, the Amorites, the Canaanites, the Kephthites, the Hivites, the Jebusites, all of these heights. He's getting rid of them. He says, These seven nations are greater and more numerous than you when the Lord. Your God hands these nations over to you. You will conquer them. You will completely destroy them and make no treaties with them and show them your mercy to them. He says if you get in with these people, completely destroy them. Have no mercy on them. Eliminate everything. Is that because God is a cruel and unjust God? No. It's the exact opposite. He knows what's in their hearts. He knows what they represent. He knows the uh, challenge it would be for the people of Israel to see everything that they've accumulated and not want to decide on them. He knows that it would be a temptation for them, that they are unjust and that they are sinful. And he wants to rid them of all their sin and get our just make this uh, mitigate things about them. God told them what to do. So he left the kingdom and he kept the best of the lives. So this is what God wants to do. What did you do? You didn't follow God. The king of Solomon was going to do it. He spent three in the rain a little bit. He said, oh, you know, I kept those commandments and did them and did them and did them. He said, well, what was there? Basically, what's the name of the sin? Thank you for someone who's 
jumps down and he says, You must not get married with them. Do not let your son, daughters and sons marry their sons and daughters. They, for they will lead your children away from you to worship other gods.
was not your sword or bow that brought you to victory. I gave you the land you did not have to work on. I gave you the plant that you did not build. The town where you are now living, I gave you vineyards, olive groves, the fruit in which you did not live. Okay, thank you. I don't think we can get over this again. All of this. So did the Lord that said to the people of Israel, you are going to be Did the Lord that said to the people of Israel, put away from front of the enemy of your ancestors and forces, when they let you go to Egypt, you are going to be in Egypt, and he said to the Lord of the Lord, and he said to the Lord, he said to the Lord, then choose today whom you will serve. Will you prefer the gods of your gods of your ancestors who you are to obey, or you, the Lord, or will it be the gods of the Canaanites in whose land you go to the Lord? Oh, but the land I am going to give you seven nations. The sun will be fulfilled by you, the Lord, and the name of the Lord. The God of the whole world, who is going to give you what you have done with the land that you did not give to the Lord. Jerusalem to sell and to set up his 
they don't know what the struggle is. They don't know the things that why what you would see so many problems if you get into it. That's what it's going to be for people. If you can retrip them, if you can see that God's going to take you to reach out to them, I mean, I'm trying to get it. The last time, the people that said this is the problem with me, but I think God said this is the principle of the faith. It's going to come on to us to get David's attention. And then the story of Brandy talks about people who would be in a bad state. And the great things that will happen to them. Uh, then in verse 4, remember the law of Moses, my servant, which I commanded him before for all rest of Israel with the statutes and judgments, and giving them yet another reminder. Remember, remember what I taught you. And then in the final. Verses of the book of Malachi, he says, Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And he will turn the hearts of the fathers to children, the hearts of children to their fathers, lest I come and strike the earth with a curse. That's the last story. It's going to be in the book. He's going to send him a message.
Bible tells us So, thank you. 